Now, for the past few weeks, the skies have been beautified by swarms of, of butterflies. Some pose to savor the moment by taking pictures and videos. However, as experts say, it is a normal migration that there are those who believe it is also a bad omen. Bad omen or not, Kenyans have been wondering what could be the cause of the migration. Agutu Rosa with more. Experts say that the current migration of butterflies, mostly white in color with brown patterns, has been triggered by the prevailing weather conditions which have been conducive for them to multiply. Jorogen Dongo, entomologist and curator at the National Museums of Kenya, says the ongoing migration is not of all butterflies, but of a specific species of butterflies. The particular species is known as copper white or brown veined white. They are largely white with little black in color. It's not a migration of all butterflies, but of one species. The butterflies are moving for greener pastures, for food and egg laying. They lay eggs in areas where they are assured of food for their young ones. So the areas currently receiving rain since December and January are now rich with flowers and food plants for the caterpillars and thus attracting them, making them migrate from drier areas. That's the scientific angle. Culturally, it is a whole different story. Jurin Sheke elders say that the sight of insects in January is a bad sign, claiming that a lot of butterflies and caterpillars and other insects are today a bad omen. The insects are a bad omen for food production, signaling an oncoming drought. But even here, opinion is split when Jurin Sheke Supreme Council of Ameru Elders, Secretary General Josphat Morangiri, holding a different view, and he believes that butterflies in January is a sign of climate change. Mbona tukakua na pipepeo mwezi huu. Hii imetokea imetokea mapema badala itokee mei ama e, kiuo kauo imetokea mwezi wa januari na tunaona hata februari inaendelea kuwa na pipepeo. Hii ni kulingana ile tunaita climate change. Najua kila kitu kimegeuka. Hii sasa ndio naona hata eh bi, biwa vi nini saa ile tulikuwa na experience sio saa hii inatokea imetoka ina, ina, mapema kwa hivyo kile kimechangia hapa kubwa ni kuwa na, ni kwa vile ni kwa vile tumia affect our climate Murangiri also talks about how they used to project and predict changes in the weather before the advent of technology hapo mbele ni kabla tuwe na watabiri wa kuelekesha tulikuwa nafuata signs zingine ndege eh vipepeo ukiona kuna vipepeo hiyo ni tangazo ya kuwa kuna front of vegetation and uh, mimea ile tunatumia kura ni part of vegetation sasa kukiwa na vegetation nzuri hata chakula ni mingi kwa hivyo hiyo ni njia moja ya kuonyesha tukona chakula ya, 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 ya kutosha kwa meri ja eh, E, lingine kama saa ile kumekauka sana kuna nini kuna rains in some areas ukitaka kujua wameru tulikuwa tunaangalia ndege sina, sinaenda wapi ukiona pari ndege sinaelekea unajua huko kuko ni kuko na marisho kwa hivyo ukienda huko utafata nyasi ya kutosha ukienda huko utafata sakura ya kutosha for the luyo community the butterflies are a good omen Isaac Litali, an elder from Butsotso community in Western Kenya, says the month of January is always hot, but this year they experienced a lot of rain that has brought the butterflies and caterpillars. The onset of butterfly migration signifies the abundance of food in the community as they appear during harvesting season that occurs immediately after the rains. They usually come towards the end of one season and beginning of another season. And in our culture, we have seen butterflies come mostly in the months of April, towards the end of April, when the rains are, um, are disappearing. And at that particular time, it means there's plenty of food. Right now, the seasons are changing because of climate change. And uh, the emergence of butterflies signifies that we should be in a harvest mode. But I know many farmers within our country and, and within the world, with the change of climate, there is a confusion in terms of when should people plant and when, therefore, should they harvest.
Entomologist Njoroge adds the general direction of migration of the butterflies is from north to south, from southern and the southern western parts of the country, as well as in the neighboring countries of Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi and DR Congo. However, should farmers be worried? Njoroge says that farmers need not to worry because the caterpillar stages of the butterflies are extremely specific on what they feed. They feed on leaves of few plant species in the family of plants. It comprises of various wild shrubs and small trees. Unlike us, who sometimes want to change from ugali to pizza, most of these species stick to a very strict diet. The insects usually migrate to increase the chances of successful reproduction in the new area that they are migrating, foraging for new sources of food and mating or searching for mates. Entomologist Danilo Chengamba says the butterfly migration can be caused by increasing the chances of successful reproduction in the new area that they are migrating, foraging for new sources of food, mating or searching for mates, and seasonality. While some farmers believe that the appearance of butterflies signals the impending arrival of heavy rains or in their absence the drought, this is not supported by any scientific research but rather indigenous knowledge or folklore. However, the biggest threat to butterflies include climate changes, diseases, pesticides and herbicides in the farmlands and invasive plants. Agutu Rosa, KTN News. All right, that story from Agutu Rosa telling us about the white butterflies that we've been seeing.